Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. No, new save file. I'm gonna do streak. I'm gonna do streak. Streak's more fun. Um, we are gonna play as... I don't even know. Maybe we could do May again. May's pretty fun. Who haven't I done in a little while though? Who haven't I done in a little while? I mean Bale's one that I haven't done in a while. Andromeda I feel like it's been a good amount of time. Yeah, maybe let's just do an Andromeda run. Andromeda's always fun. He's, he's pretty interesting. I mean... I do love myself some Tiny Planet. Any excuse to be able to use Tiny Planet is fun. So let's give this guy a go and see if we can make uh, make some things work. And just remember how to actually use his goddamn gravity shift. Because I, I constantly forget to use it effectively. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. I am indeed having a decent day. Um, but yeah, uh, ooh. HP, I think I'm going to shift that. That is... What streak are we on? Damn it, I really want to restart. That is abysmally bad. The, the actual hell is this? Like, I, I can't get to any of this. I have bombs. That, that is unfathomably depressing. I mean, at least the item room stays there so I can get in it if I get some bombs. But, like, come on. You can't be trading an item and give me a penny. It's not... <laughs> That's not okay. That's not okay. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, so obviously as you guys know, as you guys that are watching this will definitely know, I have slowed down the Isaac to make way for other series and just so that I can have a bit of a break from Isaac and enjoy it more, which I definitely am at the moment. But one thing is unfortunate. I've tested out two new series thus far and both of them have kind of bombed. Um, which is not what I was hoping to see. I, um, Slay the Spire, I was a little more, um, a little more understanding because it's an older game. I was like, yeah, it's not going to be the best for everyone. But Balotro, I've had so many people ask me to play Balotro on the channel. Like, I've had so many requests to play that game over the last month. And I play it and, like, no one gives a shit. It's like, ugh. YouTube's an annoying thing. Like, it just, it, it, it can just so easily put a downer on... Um, I don't know why I'm even walking back. I really don't care about that room. That room's fucked me off to a massive degree. I don't. I don't want to deal with you. Um, yeah, it can just put a downer on things so easily. You're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and do something different, and then YouTube's like, no, no one's gonna watch that. Fuck you. <laughs> it's, it's a sad time, man. It's a sad time. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping things pick up, and I'm, I'm gonna test out some other series as well. And it doesn't mean I'm gonna stop, stop Slay the Spire or uh, Balotro straight away. I'm, I'm still going to keep them going and see if we can, like, build some interest in them and just... I mean, to be fair, also, I'm just enjoying them, so I don't want to stop them straight away if I'm enjoying them sort of thing. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, there's some other series I want to bring back and try out. I mean, Peglin and Voidigo were two games that did reasonably well. Ooh, very, 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 very good trinket there. Um... Yeah, so I, I, I definitely think that there's a, a decent chance of bringing those back and seeing how they do. Um, I guess we'll see what people think of those. I'm, I'm, just, yeah, I'm just hoping I can find something that like can be a new niche for us for at least a little while. Something to sort of be a stopgap that people enjoy. It, I, like I said, it's just difficult. I think the thing with YouTube for me is always that like... It's just, you can so easily get yourself down about it. Like so, so easily. Do you know what? I'll go for this as well. Oh god, a spider. Spiders, please go away. Uh, yeah, it's super easy to get yourself down about it. Um, because, y like, you'll, you'll, you'll step out, like I said, you'll step outside your comfort zone to do something different, and then it'll just, like, not really... Ooh. Replace all non-purchasables um, in the room with either three coins or a nickel based on luck. That's kind of good. This could be a good way for us to, to get some money. We like it. We like it. Uh, we'll take that as well. Um, okay. Don't know where this is going to lead to, but I'm going to try this out. Nah, unfortunately didn't really get anything off of that. Did get enough money for the shop, though, which we quite like. And we've also got, like I said, an insanely, insanely good trinket. It gives us a penny heart on top of our regular health, which is very, very good for staying alive as a character like this. Yeah, it's like I said, it's just it's just super easy to sort of get yourself down about it, and it, it, it always passes. I go through like phases of like what I call like the YouTube blues of being like really down on myself about my channel or about how my views are doing or whatever. It happens all the time, like like two or three times a year. Um, but especially like in a in, in a scenario like this one where it's like I've sort of 
taken a bit of a step to to change things and it, it so far i mean it's only been a couple of days so i can't really judge too heavily but so far it isn't really working and it's like uh, uh. i'm like do i just keep doing it do i just go back to isaac but i don't want to go back to isaac so I, I really wasn't I, it's not, I won't say i wasn't enjoying it my main problem was that every now and again i like like now i don't have a backlog for isaac and when i don't have a backlog Sometimes I get into scenarios where I'm forced to record Isaac because it needs to go out on that day and I don't have a, a backlogged video of it, but I'm really not in the mood. And those would be the runs that I really would find it difficult to enjoy. The rest of them I still enjoy for perfectly fine. Like, like now, I was in the mood for Isaac and I've had a bit of a break, so sort of more... Ah, oh, this isn't creep. I don't take damage from this good. Um, more sort of wanting to play it and i'm enjoying it more because of that so i want to keep that up um isaac can shoot special tears will slow down enemies i bounce off them okay rather nice and we will go so if i just do that okay that's that's pretty good way of getting money to be honest there's probably a few rooms we can get quite a lot of money out of this um those are the situations where it's like yeah i'm, I'm okay with playing isaac but there's other situations where it's like a little more Eh, a bit more tedious, so to say. But, like I said, when I get into my rhythm and backlog a lot, it's not a problem. It's just getting into that rhythm. You've got to find a day where you want to record, like, four episodes, which doesn't always happen. Like, sometimes I'll get a day where I'm, like, super into it and have, like, loads to talk about, and I'm, I'm great to just record a ton of episodes. Other times, it'll be like, mm, I record, like, one or two, and I'm like, nah, I'm past it, or, like, I've not got enough to talk about, and I don't want the commentary to be super lacking sort of thing. Um, and I think that doing this like taking the break is keeping the uh commentary fresh but like the the sort of problem side of it is yes i'm getting the same amount of views on my isaac videos i'm glad my isaac videos uh haven't really dropped off too much in views that's good to see the problem is when i'm getting less views overall on my channel because i'm doing less isaac videos and then i upload new content and that new content doesn't do very well um it creates an issue where it's kind of like self -pro uh, self prophesizing where my new videos do even worse because the way that YouTube works essentially is it takes a look at how a how a series does or how a video does when it first gets uploaded and if it doesn't do very well the YouTube just won't promote it anymore and it'll basically just die there and then and that usually means that, that the future episodes are very much the same I've got a few strategies I want to try out for improving things but they're not like sort of slam dunks it's just gonna be things that I can sort of test out um but yeah, uh, so there's, there's a few things that I want to try out, a few things that I want to test, um, and we'll, 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 we'll see if they end up working out. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm worried that lowering my overall channel views by halving my amount of Isaac episodes is going to just make it that much harder for my other series to do well. Um, and when we get stuff like Balotra or, or Slay the Spire and we upload and it gets like 200 views, which 200 views isn't awful, but for a channel of my size, it's not great. I'd be... I'd be sort of expecting, ooh, baby. <laughs> I'd be sort of expecting something more along the lines of like 400 views for a new series, maybe, maybe even 500 uh, plus. So it's yeah, it's 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 just. I know that some of you might not care about this, but it's just something I kind of need to vent about it. I think get it off my chest and kind of just talk about it openly because it is a little frustrating. Um, and it isn't it isn't ideal. It isn't really what I wanted to see, but at the same time. Like, not every game that I upload is going to be a winner. I mean, Risk of Rain 2 has been really good on the channel recently, but in a very, very peculiar way. Now, I don't know how many of you that watch this watch the Risk of Rain 2 videos. I imagine it's not a huge percentage of you. But what seems to happen with Risk of Rain is I get around 200 views in the episode from my subscribers, which is you guys. Um and whoever else is on my channel. Uh, I, I, get, I, I get, like, a decent amount of views there, like 200, which is meh. But not awful. Uh, but then, ooh, stopwatch, yes, please. But then, um, like a day later, which normally after the first day of, of something being out, you, um, that your views just, you don't really get many more views after the first 24 hours, first 48 hours especially. But after the first 24 hours, it just gets a massive explosion in views. And I check the analytics and it's all new people that have never watched my channel before, all people that aren't subscribed. Ooh, horse pill. Um, ooh, very nice horse pill. Um, and so I think that's obviously just like it being pushed out to the Risk of Rain community and the Risk of Rain people jumping on it. Um, but it's just weird that like it, it, it has this stagger before it gets the views and it seems to happen with every episode. I, it hasn't happened with the episode that I've uploaded so far, but it 
it, is, it hasn't even been 24 hours yet, so I'll have to check back in tomorrow and sort of see if that happened again. But one thing that I've been sort of looking at and, and seeing in YouTube, which is kind of like a good way to have new series do well, is don't publish it to your subscribers. Have a new series, and there's a button you can press, so it, it will not be in your subscribers' feed, and it will not notify your subscribers of the upload. So basically, none of you guys will see it unless you visit my channel. Um, but in doing that, basically it means that it means that, say, I've, I've got 12k subs right now. It means that it, it, YouTube doesn't see it as, oh, well, 12k people didn't watch this. Must be a bad video. It sees it as, oh, this is a new video. I can promote it to new audiences. And there isn't some preconceived notion by YouTube that people aren't watching it. Um, worm trinket. Oh, ringworm. Nice. It's going to be wacky. Uh, there isn't, yeah, YouTube doesn't already have, like, a preconceived notion that nobody's watching it. I'm going to buy both of these. Fuck it. I've got this coin heart. I'm pretty pretty uh, happy with this, especially considering I've got this uh, this active item. This active item with this uh, coin thing is very very good. Uh, we've got access to coins in multiple ways, um, but I think lusty blood here plus the piercing from this is going to be quite good. Uh, also, the ringworm is kind of nice right now with the the tier size that we've got going on. I like it. Um, Yes, yeah, so I think maybe the next upload of Slay the Spire that I do, I'm going to do that. So if you, I, I'm probably going to upload Slay the Spire uh, tomorrow, maybe, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to, I'll have a look when my last upload was. But anyways, I'm going to upload Slay the Spire again. And if you want to see Slay the Spire, make sure to check my actual channel rather than waiting for the uh, for it to appear in your feed because it might not appear in your feed. And I'm just going to see if that improves things at all. If that does any that that does anything to help us, I have a feeling it probably won't do much to help um but i think it's worth giving a go i just think i want to try and find ways of, of of branching out to new things and them being reasonably successful because at the minute yeah like i said it's it's unfortunately not really not really getting the views i would have liked on um on thingies and like i said it's it's not like i'm getting terrible views i mean two three hundred views isn't actually that bad but when when you compare it to my isaac views and compare it to the amount of subscribers i have it's 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 definitely lower than you'd expect definitely lower than you'd expect so it's it, it's definitely a bit of a shame and I'm, I'm really hoping to see some improvement on it um in the future and and like i said i'll just have to test things out and see because basically my big test is going to be if i do peglin or voidigo and they do bad then i know something's up because i've done peglin and voidigo on my channel in the past and they did pretty well um especially voidigo voidigo did really well for a little while getting like five six hundred views an episode so if i do those episodes and then those seem to be tanking as well then i know that there's something up with with how youtube's suggesting my videos which in at, at that case is i don't know what i could do YouTube, like I said, it's a funny old game. It's all to do with luck, and it's just uh, makes things more difficult to predict uh, exactly how you're actually going to play the game and, and get good views on things. I mean, at the end of the day, I do this to have fun, but I also do want to see people enjoying it. I don't, I don't just want to be uploading videos for for hardly any people to be viewing, sort of thing. I want to, I want to see that uh, there's actually people out there that are enjoying it and commenting and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just a bit up and down at the moment. I've um. I don't know. Anyways, I don't, even, I don't even think I did a question of the day here. Is this tinier tears? Damn it, it is. That's a bit unfortunate, but we'll deal with it. Um, I'm just going to go down to the next floor here. Um, I probably should have actually sold the trinket there. I don't know if I could have done with my uh, active item, but I should have at least tried it. Considering there's a half heart on the floor as well, it would have sold that at least. Yeah, having these smaller tears here isn't exactly ideal. I do like having spider mod here, though. Gives us a nice idea of how much damage we're dealing. Uh, and it's just nice to be able to see health bars as well. I like it for health bars. Honestly, Ringworm here is really, really nice for getting our tears, like, more spread across throughout the whole room. Leave that penny on the floor. We've got plenty of access to money. Might as well just leave it, th leave it there for if I need it later. For healing up my heart. I don't think I've actually been hit yet, which is rather nice. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that was an insane room for HP. You don't expect that. It's like here, I think my bombs are probably more valuable. Uh, do you know what I can do? So we use my stars card here, can't I? Jester baby, following familiar, um, while fi following familiar, while firing Jester baby and other following familiars will bounce around the room. All familiars deal contact damage. That seems pretty interesting. Ah, I kind of like that. The fact that it changes all familiars deal contact damage means that spider model be better i think and i think there could be a really interesting setup that you could get going on with this guy to be honest and that's pretty cool i think that's pretty cool 
I'll bomb one of you. I'm not going to bomb both of you. I don't need the money. Unfortunately, there's a shop that we're not going to get anything from. Ooh, hello. Unfortunately, just spent a bomb that I shouldn't have there, because these cost four bombs and we only have two at the moment. Would have had four right there, but... Okay, unfortunately, Jester Baby does make some of the most annoying sounds known to man. Um, so that's a little unfortunate. I was hoping that he wouldn't just constantly make noise, but I guess we've got to deal with that now. There's that extra bomb, lovely. What we got here... Definitely take that, obviously. Lovely stuff. Grab all of those. <laughs> Grab an insane amount of money here. Not that even close to need all this money, but there you go. Right, let's go back to our mushroom and uh, perish it. See what it gives us. Boom. 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 Paul spill. Oh, magic mush. Hell yes. I'm drowsy. Balls of steel. This this is a good run. We we like we like magic mush here. This is a good run. HP's all full up. Money's all full up. It's all good, man. Oh, and we got a golden pill as well. Dude, the pills are like great for us right now. Health up. Amnesia. We got a gulp. Gulp's very good for us here. Orf. More speed down. Now it's earning. Put in it. Range down isn't great. Speed down again, dude. There's a lot of speed downs here. I don't even know what I'm looking to get from this, to be honest, but... Okay, it's all, we're all out now. Um, grab this card. Pop this. Fills our little heart. Interesting. An interesting room, most certainly. Oh, dude. Dude. We got a few tier size ups pills there. Pretty, pretty goddamn good for us here. We got just a few tier, tier size ups there. We like that very much, though. Holy hell. Oh, dude, all my little mini Isaacs also bounce around the room, look. With the Jester. Sanguine Bond's kind of interesting. Picking up an item will grant a temporary copy of another item. Spawns two to four permanent locust companions. Can rarely spawn... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take both of these. Probably should take them in the other order, obviously. But... Good stuff. Um... Okay, I think we're good to go on this floor, to be honest. I don't like not having mapping, so I'm just going to leave. I'm curious to see if my Locust boys bounce around the room. No, they don't. I was kind of hoping they would, but I don't think they count as traditional familiars, so it makes sense. Oh, we got a Holy Light one there. What the hell happened there? It doesn't look like a Holy Light one, but... Oh, wait, does he change every room? I think they change every room. Hmm... Oh, it's a piss baby. Hello. I don't think I've seen a piss beggar before. I'm interested to see what he pays out with. I mean, it's probably going to be fucking lemon party, isn't it? A le lemon mishap, sorry, or uh, free lemonade. But Jay, it's not even free. How dare you. We'll see what we get. We'll see what we get. Knew it'd be free lemonade. <laughs> I fucking well knew it'd be free lemonade. I mean, it makes sense, but obviously not not an item that's really worth paying for. I'm trying to think of what other items. I mean, I guess he could have given us number one, which would have been reasonably good. Uh, Boss-wise, we can just go straight for the boss here. Yeah, this is a, a pretty strong build here. We are having a good time. This should give us quite a lot of damage. Yeah, baby. And then... Let's have a look at what we've got going on here. Scarlet Infant. All but familiar that blocks shots orbits enemies instead of player. Killing the enemy uh, Scarlet Infant orbits will cause a blood explosion. Um, dead Scarlet Infant. Okay, yeah, let's go for that. Cool, cool, cool. Haven't got anything we can see here. Health is obviously really low here, I realise, but having this penny trinket thing gives us a lot more leeway. And also, I'm really interested in this, uh, this Scarlet... 
twin thingy doing contact damage. I think that could make it very, very strong. So I'm interested to see how that plays out. It's a little annoying that it always starts at the like door to a room. Right, let's, let's just see. Let's just see. If I start firing here. Okay, he doesn't seem to want to latch on. I want to kind of see how much damage he does, but with tears this large and this much damage, it's kind of hard to get a good grasp. Hard to get a good idea of how much damage my familiars are actually doing. It's hard to see what the fuck's going on to start with, to be honest. God damn, it's beautiful though. Okay, so the tower. Oh, there's a half soul heart in there we can probably go grab. What are you going to do, big boy? Good. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I love this run. Oh, I had a, a little piss fly there. And we've got one of these little demon room things here. Ooh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. If I... Let, let's bomb this. And if I do that, can I then do this and sacrifice my penny heart? Nope, I cannot. <laughs> Very much not. Okay, that was a, a bit of a big mistake there. Really? Really? That didn't get that? Okay. Was really hoping the penny would trigger there before that, but... Oh, come on now. Now I don't have bombs to work with. I do have this, however. It's a little risky. There you go, though. Ooh, burn heart. Lovely. Just turns, just, just turned to a black heart, but it's something. Bit of sad bombs. Unfortunately, we don't gain the plus five bombs from that because of the way that we gained the item, but... Hey, her. That's the way it goes. Right. Let's keep it moving. Okay. Good stuff so far. We've not seen item room this floor, have we? I don't think. We'll just keep moving through. Rooms are a piece of piss here. Come on, bombs, please. I've got two tinted rocks lying in wait right now. There's no way to activate either of them. I very much do not like the idea of leaving them behind. Hopefully the shop can give us a bomb. Bell, unfortunately, doesn't do much for us. Uh, we might as well just do this. There was a bomb there. There's a bomb there as well. Unfortunately, I lost one of the bombs because I was stupid. That was my bad. Uh, and there's another bomb there, at least. Good, good, good. Okay. One tinted rock was... To the left? No, below. Yes, one's here. Good, good goddamn. Sad bombs right now. I wish I actually had that as an item rather than a temporary item, because that is ludicrous, the, uh, the size at which it blasts out those tears. It's it's kind of unfathomable. <laughs> but we've got this room here in which we can go and uh, bomb this now. Wasn't expecting small rock, but I'm certainly into it. Although our speed is a little getting a little low. I mean, it's not low low, but I like it higher. Right, let's go over to our boss and see what we can get going on with this guy. See what we can get going on with this guy. Ah, boss is already done. I forgot about that. We have 45% planetarium chance. Is that just from us negating to use our actual item rooms? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, we're on 60% chance now, so we should probably get it this floor. Be a shame if we didn't. Yeah, just walk into a room and tap fire a few times and everything dies. Hey, there's some bombs. Lovely. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 what, what, what item did we just gain? I, I we gained an item as, as, like, our temporary item, and it's given us the teeniest, tiniest tears you've ever seen. I'm not sure what's causing that. I'm not sure what item it was that does that. Inner eye, wasn't expecting it, but don't mind it. I guess I'll carry that just in case. I'm really, like, sort of worrying about my health, but I'm realizing I just don't need to. Like, have I actually been hit yet? I don't think so. But yeah, my tears are going to get larger again at some point. Just keep pushing through. I really want to get, like, an interesting build with the Jester here. Imagine the Jester on a Lilith run. That could be really interesting. Although, I wonder if Lilith would end up following the Jester. Like, bouncing around the room. That'd be pretty interesting and make things significantly more difficult, I think. 
Ooh. I think my tears are back to full size. No, there's just some weird stuff going on. Yumha, unfortunately not what we're looking for here. I will do this. Oh, it's... Oh, it's Succubus, though. It lets us know what it is. Fuck it, I'm gonna take it. There you go. Our tears are back to full size now. There's another Soul Heart there. Lovely. What's this gonna be? Barata. We got Birthright for a little while there. I wonder if we'll keep Spurred after we get rid of Birthright. I wonder how that's gonna work. Pop in here real quick. What the fuck is this? I don't know, but it gave us an error. Interesting. I don't know what the, the, the burn one does. I don't think it'd kill us, but I'm a bit afraid to try and find out. I'll be honest. I'm a bit afraid to try and find out. I keep forgetting that I've got the slowdown as well right now. We'll go negative this path this time around. Why not? We don't go negative too often. This seems like a pretty slam dunk of a run here, isn't it? I like the fact that the Barata thing starts in the uh, starting room now rather than the boss room like it used to. I think it's better in the uh, in the starting room. Really. Good old two wrong ways right off the bat. The womb classic. Ah, oh, we lost our sad bombs finally. I don't even know how we had our sad bombs for so long, to be honest. I do like the fact that Regret Pedestals as a mod allows things like that to actually tell you what you're losing. It's normally you wouldn't actually get to see that. Regret Pedestals is a very good mod. What we got card-wise here? Oh, uh, by the way, my, my Succubus does move around the room faster when I'm holding down the, uh, holding down the, the fire button. Strength. We'll just take the strength, I guess. Oh, to be fair, actually, let's take Wiggle Worm, because it'll auto-smelt, right? Yeah! It's just a fire rate increase for us, so... The wiggling actually doesn't affect too much. Oop! I've lost a penny here. But that's okay, I can gain it back relatively easily. There's a look up there, I'll take the look up. Where did I get so many of these Locust Boys from? Quickly just go back in here and do that. There you go. Filled a hard thing again. Yeah, where'd I get some of these locust boys from? Look how many there are. So do I get like two or three per floor or something? What's going on? Fred, you know you're dead. Don't try jumping away. Don't try surviving like that. Oh, lump of coal here is going to be crazy. Um, justice, we can pop in here. In fact, I think we can pop this in here and go for a reroll, to be honest. See if we can get something good. Wrath, good, but not really what I'm looking for. 20% chance to take zero damage. Don't really need that. Fettered heart, good, but not good enough. I'm probably going to end up breaking this and getting crap all, aren't I? That's permanent flight and speed. I don't know, I've just got to roll deeper. There's so many good things I could get in this room. Money equals power is probably pretty good, considering. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Good amount of bonus damage off of the back of that. I'm gonna say we can get our money up to full pretty goddamn easily, I think. Pop in here real quick. Do I have any trinkets for you to uh, smell up my ladder? Well, you're, you're dead anyways, so there you go. You're dead anyways. I lost my ruler. I took a lot of time in that last room there. I'll pop that, why not? Ball of tar. Nice bit of slowing on these bad boys. That golden pill was so good for giving us this insane amount of tear size. Wowie. Who'd have thought I'd run to be like this? I, honestly, you like I like you, but I think you should be a waste of time. I don't think there's much much to be gained from doing that. 
that we don't already have sort of thing. Obviously, we could get an item from it, but, like, do we really need an item? I, I, I think not. I think not. Ooh, what's a red version of this guy? I don't think I've seen the red version of that guy before. Is that, is that like, a, just a rare spawn on the womb or something? Is there a title for that? It just says, are you next? Also, this was unfortunately a wrong way. Oh, I could have used the fucking denial. I didn't realize I had that. My bad. That would have been a good usage of that. Rerolling that into something else. Good. good. Ugh, these enemies annoy me. Okay. Keep it moving. I, I know you've got these little denial things for me, but I just don't really need them right now, my guy. I'm not doing too much for me. Got a library here. Something I wasn't expecting. Ooh, I did take some damage there. Is that our first hit of the run? I don't think it is, is it? Um, get my health back there really easily. Hmm. I mean, I might as well take Bookworm here, right? I also get a bunch of free items off the back of this. Didn't get much from that. Okay. Cool. We got Bookworm at least. Not a bad thing to have. I don't think we need to go for Dice Room here either. Okie dokie. Yes, yeah, skip that last phase. There was a scythe there that I apparently had at some point. I don't know where that's from. We're going down, remember? I haven't done Hush in a while, but I think Hush is just one of those bosses where, like, unless you're actually going for completion marks, it's just, you just never want to go for him. Because, like, you can get some good power out of him, but there's just very rarely a build, even a build like this, that's going to kill him quickly because of the boss armor. You need, like, a lot of bombs to kill him quickly, really. We got ourselves the Necronomicon. Really? We just got books. Does it have to be that? I do like the fact that the, uh, the the item that you get for one minute is an item from the pool that you were previously in. I think that's nice. There's a black art in here, apparently. There you go. Quickly grab that. Didn't even need to kill those guys on the edges. Lovely. Get out of here before these guys do their shot. Damn, I can't believe how much damage we're putting out. This is wild. The game's just like, being like, where you been? Here's some cool runs to bring you back in. <laughs> like, what you been doing? How, how, why are you playing Daily Isaac? Come back. So it fucking puts some of these runs back to back. Don't need the keys here, do we? We've got this strength card. I don't know where I'm going to use this. Probably just use it on the lamb, right? Need to go for Mega Satan a bit more often as well on runs like this. Obviously, clearly a run that could have done Mega Satan pretty easily. Can't even see what's going on. This guy's going to just die instantly, though. <laughs> Once we've built up this many tiers, there's just nothing you can do. He's taking forever because of the slowdown. I think Lump of Coal is the big reason why uh, damage has gotten so wild now. I kind of forgot we had that. Like, I was wondering why we were covering literally the whole screen, but yeah, Lump of Coal is... Obviously very, very good with Tiny Planet, and this character's got that built in, so... No, no, no. A theme? Oh, minus one luck, no. A theme's very good, obviously, but I think with minus one luck, it's not really worth going for, for us. Oh, we did get a chest there that I didn't see. There we go. What's the chest doing? Lost Fly. Can't imagine that would be too useful for us, but we'll take him. Lost Fly, and then into Sci Fly. We like that. I love those little enemies, they're cool. Little glass head guys. They're not very thematic, they don't fit the theme of the game too much, but I don't think that's a big problem. I think they're just cool. I think also as well, on the last floors especially, you can mess around with the theming a little bit more. You can be a bit looser with it. It's like those angel enemies in the, um, in the light path that... 
like put that circle around you that holds you in place. They technically don't really fit the theming of like the spriting of Isaac too well, but I think the enemies fit the game pretty well. And on the chest, you can play around with things a little more, so it doesn't really matter. Got a chest there, let's see what this is. Obsessed fan, I don't think I'm going to take that. Right, we've got our strength popped. Yeah, didn't think you'd live for long, my guy. No, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. A very speedy little run there, but a, a fun one nonetheless. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.